Hi, and welcome to another episode of My Life with Android. On today's episode, I will be reviewing the video editor all-in-one by Galaxy Soft, available for free on the Play Store. Some of the things that this app says it does includes uh, formats to AVI, MP4 and FLV, video rotating, compression, it merges videos and you can produce your own frames and wallpapers and share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube. When you open it up you just saw what you get, you also get a pop-up advert as well because that's how the company makes their money so you can't avoid that. Uh, you can watch videos on it you can what you can listen to audio from a video so you can extract audio from a video you can put effects on you can do videos to photos you can film from it you can grab frames from it uh, trim videos convert and merge or at least that's what it says you're able to do uh, on the play store if you go on there it is rated 3.6 and there are 2,259 uh, ratings of 5 star and 1,032 ratings of 1 star. Uh, there's about 5,000 ratings on there and all the rest are split up between the middle stars. Uh, quite evenly split up. Now, this is the third attempt at me trying to do this review. If you watch videos, you do get to watch videos, but they're not in the best quality. In fact, I will show you very quickly the style of quality that it is in. So let's just go on to here. As you can see, it's actually quite good quality when it does it on this. There are some that brings it up. It's not very responsive. There we go. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Thank you. Um, yeah, depending on which ones you show, depends on the quality you get. Um, many of the qualities that I had from filming from uh, camera and then playing it through here are a bit off. At times, it does pixelate it a little bit, but it does keep it in sync. And the way the audio extractor is quite good, um, the effects you get with it um, include, I'll just pick this one again, you can get blur, you can get compress, you can like make it look fast, give it grayscale, mirror it, give it negative, uh, slow it down, rotate it left and rotate it right. Now I would show you some of these effects that you can get for it, however it takes about five to seven minutes to render one minute worth of video footage that you have taken. The same goes when you convert videos to photos and you do a frame grab. Uh, I have tried these out. It took about 40 minutes uh, to convert something that was three minutes long, three to five minutes long, and at the end of which it crashed. And I had to restart again, and uh, again it crashed. Um, I will try and show you what it's like when you shoot a video. So, ooh, click on shoot new, enable because battery is low, that is fine. Um, so it uses whatever cameras you have, so Pro Capture is for this one. Um, so it goes through what you would use anyway to capture video. Um, the trimming video, you can only trim the f beginning and the end, you can't actually cut it halfway, uh, which is what they show 
show you that you can do on the video on their Play Store page. And merging, you can only merge a particular type of file. So if I was to click onto this one, uh, video not compatible, please choose another video with only AVI format. So you can only merge AVI format together. And that is it. That is what you get with the app. And unfortunately, even though many of the things it gives you are you know, handy and really good to have and to find on a free downloadable app, it just doesn't work. And there are plenty of complaints on the comments section of their Play Store saying this, saying that it crashes, uh, it takes too long, some don't, some have trouble with it not opening their videos or it's saving their videos properly. Um, and supposedly you can also remove audio, change audio, and also rotate it uh, 180 and 270 degrees, although I'm not sure where. Um, you can add voice to videos, uh, yet again. Not entirely sure, I mean I have used this, I have gone through it, and I'm not sure where you get that. There is the video effects. And it says you can convert it to AVI, WMV, MP4, LFV, DAT and MOV. Which if you're willing to wait five, about five minutes for each minute worth of video footage that it has to convert. Then it would be a handy thing to have as a conversion tool on your Android device. Now all this was done on the Samsung Note 10.1. And uh, there has been a couple of good comments on their Play Store. However, it doesn't work on this. Um, if you have had success with this application and made it work on your device, please write it in the comment section that you have and also what device you used to get these results so that people can know what uh, Android device this is compatible with. As I say, it's done on the Samsung Note 10.1 and it is done with the latest version of Android. Um, so I'm very sorry that I couldn't actually show you more of this or any of the effects. But as I say, it does crash on me after I've waited 40 minutes for it to do it. And it's taken me about an hour and a half to finally give up and do it this way. Um, but... Yeah, so it's a 0 out of 5. Um, I agree with the 1,032 people that gave it a 1 star. Uh, but if you don't own a Samsung Note and you think it might be good for you, then feel free to give it a go because some people do rate this and it does work for them depending on their Android device. Please read the comments section on their Play Store page, only uh, also remember it doesn't quite live up to the video that they show you on their Play Store page either. So that is a 0 out of 5 for Video Editor All-in-One by Galaxy Soft, available on the Play Store for free. Thank you very much for watching my review of Video Editor All-in-One, and please check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, plenty more reviews and additional content and feel free to leave any comment you like. Thank you very much and take care.